Hey guys, this is Steph from KillerSites.com. In this quick blog video, well, I'm recording this with a webcam now, unedited. Uh, of course, it's not going to be HD video, it's not, you know, so the quality is going to be less, but it's a lot easier to do. So I'm going to do these type of commentary blogs uh, using the webcam. So, you know, I hope you can stand the lesser quality of the video. Anyhow, in this particular video, I want to comment uh, on web design degrees and colleges. And the reason I want to speak about this is because I've um, I heard or read or saw uh, a piece, an article about this uh, girl who recently graduated from school, uh, sociology sociology degree, excuse me, and. Uh, she has about $190,000 in debt, so she's putting up a site and she's trying to get her debt paid off through donations. And so she's getting some press and radio time. And uh, to me, what's remarkable about, remarkable about this story is that somebody got into uh, you know, nearly 200 grand in debt. And this is debt, you know, if you're not aware, if you have student loan debt, you can't, in the US, you can't write it off. This is, you know, this is indentured servitude. Like you're locked in, you have to pay this debt. It's really a, a bad situation to be in. So, you know, the first thing I'm gonna say before I get to the whole web design, web programming thing, first thing I would advise you is that you don't do this. You don't get yourself into uh, these type of crazy debts, especially if you're going to one of these arts, like, you know, sociology, psychology, uh, you know, philosophy, these kind of things. If, you know, if you're going to rack up a couple hundred grand in debt, it better be in something good, like, you know, you know, being a doctor or something. Otherwise, you're crazy. You know, my advice, if you want to study these things, philosophy, history, buy a Kindle, 186 bucks, and you can probably download, apparently you got thousands of free books, you can probably download all kinds of philosophical text, and you can, uh, you know, join a philosophy forum and learn this on your own, on your own, because at the end of the day, whether you spend two years or four years of your life doing this at home with a Kindle and uh, rack up a debt of 186 bucks for your Kindle, or you go to school and rack up 200 grand uh, to have a degree from some college, in, in both situations, you're not going to get a job or you're going to get a crappy job. So you can just forget it. When it comes to web design, though, um, it's a lot more practical because you can, you know, get decent paying jobs. And if you get, if you're a high-end designer, or if you get into web programming especially, um, it would be uh, even better because web programmers, once you have a couple years experience under your belt, you'd be able to command a lot more money. Uh, now here's the thing though. You uh, have to consider that uh, when you're looking for work in web design, most employers are not going to really ask you about your degrees. You know, I never do. When I hire people, I uh, the last thing I consider is whether or not they have a degree. My concern is whether or not they have skills and experience. So you're much better off to take your time and invest it in some good videos. Okay, I'm plugging here, but you know, you know whether it be our videos at KillerSites.com, KillerVideoStore.com, or wherever else, or books or whatnot. You're much better off to spend a few hundred dollars in videos and good books and then a lot of practice as opposed to thousands of dollars and years of your life and where I'm not going to really look at your degree. I'm going to look at your skills. So you decide what you want to do. But at the end of the day, uh, don't think that a web design degree is going to help you much in getting a job. Um, it can... Uh, especially with programming and software engineering, if you're going, if you want to try to get a job at Google or something, yeah, then the degree comes in, but handy. But you know, 70% of us do not work for big, large corporations who have bureaucracies and red tape. You know that they assume that you know uh, they need for you to have a degree because that's it's just a, their system. You know, it's, it's part of the. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that right now. So anyway, here's what you want to take away from this video. If you want to get into web design or web programming, and you're considering a college situation where it's going to cost you tens of thousands of dollars, and you and you have to go into debt to do this, 
understand a couple of things. Number one, that most people are not going to care. They're not going to give a. They're not going to care about whether or not. I was about to swear there, so they're not going to care whether or not you have a degree. And number two, if you get into student loan debt, this is debt you cannot write off. You cannot go bankrupt and get rid of it, which is really, really pernicious in my opinion. You know, you know, businesses can write off debts and, and, and just go bankrupt, you know. But for some reason, they decide they're going to punish students by not allowing them to go bankrupt. So you got these poor students, like this woman, who's got a couple hundred grand in debt with a sociology degree, and she's, she'll, she'll be a debt slave for at least 20 years. It's like, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's a crazy situation to be in. And uh, I feel so bad for people that way. So you want to learn web design, you're looking to get a career. Before you, you decide to join the college, spend all kinds of money, consider otherwise, consider my two points. And that's it for now. Ciao.